This boisterous three-year-old English bulldog is everything Chris Heppelis ever wanted in a pet. Cooper is lovely. He's adorable. He's a very sweet boy. But her playful companion He's a handful. has been suffering in pain. He has third-degree burns all over his body. Burns, she says he got from a heating pad while having surgery at Ridgefield Park Animal Hospital in December. She says when she first noticed the bumps, the head vet here said it was skin allergies. But the wounds rapidly got worse, and she got a second opinion. And you said any vet would look at that and know those are heat burns. So I was like, hmm. It's pretty uncomfortable to see her, you know, in, in pain. Bobby Lombardo says the same thing happened to his Rottweiler Harley in March. I've been a dog owner my whole life. They've had many different successful surgeries, none of which they were burned with a heating pad. We went to the animal hospital to get answers. The owner didn't want to be on camera, but tells me the heating pad is necessary because of the risk of hypothermia during surgeries. These are the types of heating pads that were used on both Cooper and Harley. Doctors place a towel over them so the heat isn't directly against the dog's skin, and then they plug into the wall. But on these, there's no way to actually monitor the temperature. So now they're using a different kind of pad that shows the temperature. The head vet says they're so sorry about Cooper's injuries and have tried calling his owner several times. But they didn't even know Harley was hurt until reporters told them. In the meantime, Heppelis has started a petition to ban heating pads from veterinary practices altogether. Find something else. Find blankets. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I believe there is a solution out there. In hopes it will prevent another dog from so much discomfort. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.